The New Age of Spiritual Human Consciousness Beloved Masters, the God Rays of Creation for the Piscean Age, which contained the specific aspects, qualities, virtues, designs, and formulas for the creative process of that era, were beamed down upon the Earth and humanity for over 2,000 years. Those Creator Rays are now in the process of being withdrawn and shut down. That is why the masses, those who are still stuck in the illusion and the vibrational frequencies of the imbalanced third and lower fourth dimensions, are feeling as if they have lost their way. Nothing is working the way it did in the past, and there seems to be no hope for the future. Old regulations, guidelines, as well as many well-established institutions and religious organizations, are no longer dependable, and many are falling by the wayside. Fragmentation of almost all racial, cultural, social and political boundaries within the third-slash-fourth dimensional paradigm are crumbling or are being challenged. The consciousness of humanity is on the rise, and nothing can stop the forward momentum. Humanity is coming of age, and all must follow the flow of expanded awareness or fall into the trap of inertia and chaos. Fortunately, more and more people are awakening to the process of turning inward in order to gain a heightened sense of self-awareness, which ultimately leads to a desire for higher soul consciousness via the energies of divine discontent. Every cultural group, every race and every country on earth are seeking direction or a higher philosophical path to follow. This phenomenon is due to the fact that the seven rays of God consciousness for your earth, which contain the divine blueprint for the Piscean Age, have been almost completely withdrawn, and are being replaced with a higher frequency, more refined twelve rays of galactic consciousness for the Aquarian Age. In the beginning stages of awakening, before a major soul merge takes place within a person, there can be no interference from the higher realms due to the divine gift of free will which ultimately became a gift with great and burdensome consequences. However, when a person attains an energetic signature which resonates with the higher frequencies of the mid-fourth dimension and above, he she is ready to affirm, Thy will be done. I ask for my greatest good and the highest outcome for all, thereby aligning the personal will with the will of the higher self and the new divine blueprint for the earth. As a result, a magical path of light is extended to that soul via his her personal column of love light life. This pathway of light, often called the river of life, leads to an authentic essence consciousness, whereby each person who reaches the required level of consciousness will begin to receive as her special portion of encoded crystalline seed atoms for their new galactic or sub-universal divine blueprint slash mission. These new seed atoms will also contain the advanced wisdom, talents, attributes, and qualities necessary to qualify as a participant in the early stage creative process for the new golden galaxy of the future. The process of evolution is changing, the bodily structure of all humanity will gradually be refined and upgraded. There will be guidance and direction supplied to those who have attuned to their sacred heart slash sacred mind and who have placed their personal will under the command of divine will. Heretofore, the masses have lived in a world of veiled, illusional awareness, and it seems they are now facing a future that feels much like a ship that has been cast into a stormy sea without a rudder. That is because the primal life force energy that has been available to all humanity over the past age is no longer filled with God seeds of great potential from within the old divine blueprint for this sub-universe. The masses will still receive the vibrational patterns they need to maintain the status quo. And, we assure you that the loving energy of our Father, Mother, God and the beings of light will always be available to humanity. However, in order to tap into the new divine blueprint that is awaiting each soul, there must be an attunement to at least the mid-fourth dimensional frequencies of light. Our Father, Mother, God's greatest desire is to see all facets of their beingness return to self-mastery so they may enjoy the love, peace, joy and abundance that is every soul's divine birthright. There will always be help available from the great beings of light, and the angelic realm will always answer calls or pleas for assistance. However, there are immutable universal laws that must be adhered to, and it must be each person's choice as to which path they will follow, the path of light or the path of shadows. You, the star seed, 
who have balanced and harmonized the vibrational patterns of your four lower bodily systems so that your soul song is resonating to the fourth subplane of the fourth dimension and higher, are now beginning to access the higher frequency rays of the golden age of the future. There is a new divine blueprint for this sub-universe and for each person who is ready to don a shining cloak of many colors, a refined auric field of light, signifying a readiness to receive the virtues, qualities, talents, abilities, and aspects of the new age. These wondrous gifts are programmed within the adamantine particles of Creator Light, and they are now available to those of you who have attained the required level of self-mastery. Adamantine particles of Creator Light are complete facets of Creator Consciousness ready to be activated, programmed, and manifested into new, unlimited creative endeavors. At the initiation of each subsequent plan for a new creative project, the adamantine particles are encoded with the divine blueprint for that plan. These blueprint adamantine particles are then sent forth in great rays of unlimited potential by the Father Mother God who receive the command from the Supreme Creator for the new project that is to be manifested in the material realms. The seed thoughts of the Divine Father, which are then radiated forth from the cosmic womb of the Divine Mother, are known as essence genes. You have genes within your DNA structure from all the different dimensions you have ever experienced. You, the star seed, are now in a state of preparation which will condition your current form bodily systems to receive these essence genes, along with your new divine mission. These powerful, higher frequency rays contain the creator essence cells for the divine blueprint of the new golden age and they are being radiated throughout the sub-universe via the great shining vessels of the Elohim in the Archangelic Realm. These vibrational frequencies are stepped down at every sub-level of every dimension. If this were not so, all material manifestations, including humanity, would burn up from the electromagnetic power intensity of the sacred fire energy. The sacred white cosmic fire, adamantine particles, that you magnetize to you as an awakened self-master, must continually circulate. Only a certain amount, that which is appropriate for each soul to integrate at their current level of enlightenment, can be stored within the physical vessel. The balance must be radiated out into the world of form. The Supreme Creator is composed of infinite, indefinable essence power, which is so overwhelming that you cannot even imagine its magnitude. That wondrous essence power has been reduced within every dimensional level of creation so that you, the star seed co-creators, may claim your portion of this magnificent, potential power. Each human being contains hundreds of potential personality traits, which have been stored within the genetic structure of his her four bodily systems, physical, mental, emotional and etheric. It is up to each person to determine which personality traits he she will develop and present to the outside world. The faster you neutralize or harmonize your negative personality traits, the more quickly your godly potential or master self will emerge. Only then will you gain access to your full potential as a co-creative master within the physical planes of existence. Your planet is now plugged directly into the heart core of the great central sun within the Milky Way galaxy. The new cosmic waves of Creator Light are a great gift to the awakened souls on planet Earth. Even though these refined, higher frequency rays are not being beamed down directly into the lower fourth and third subdimensional levels, the transforming frequencies of light will gradually filter into and affect everyone and everything on and within the Earth. Scientists have announced that a hydrogen wall barrier has been discovered at the edge of the solar system. These are the membranes of light that we have spoken of in the past. Science and spirituality are validating and merging many conceptual teachings and theories of the past as more human beings tap into the resources of the sacred mind. As a result of its alignment with the galactic center and attunement with the great central sun of the galaxy, the earth is in the process of raising its frequency patterns, its soul song, so it may return to its status as a sacred planet. This sub-universe is also being upgraded in vibrational frequencies as a result of being bombarded with the adamantine particles of Creator Light via our Universal Father Mother God. The Milky Way galaxy is also divided into 12 sectors, 
just as the universe is divided into sub-universal sectors, and each sector within the galaxy has a governing council of twelve. Hopefully, you are gaining a better understanding as to the importance of the numbers 12 and 144, for these numbers apply to many facets of creation throughout this sub-universe. Your encodings of awareness are constantly being modified by your positive or negative thoughts, intentions, and actions. You are being presented with tests of tolerance, benevolence, humility, and patience, and your cultural views are being challenged as well. Each and every day the seed thoughts, which contain the negative frequency patterns of these aspects, will shrivel and disappear when you stop feeding them energy. We have taught you to become a living meditation whereby you are able to function efficiently in your earthly environment while maintaining a balanced alpha state of consciousness. The next step is to endeavor to live in a constant state of joy and gratitude, thereby becoming a living prayer. As you become more proficient as co-creators on the earthly plane, you must constantly monitor your energy patterns and seek to upgrade them. You must strive for sustained harmony and refined godly expression. You must liberate the power of the sacred fire within, which, for most, has lain dormant for many thousands of years. You should strive to direct and focus your energy into the areas of your life you wish to change. By establishing and constantly upgrading your creator wheel of life, you are planting the seeds of focus change, and you will be supplied with the sacred fire of creation needed to manifest what you have envisioned. Your major goal must be to gain self-mastery while in the physical vessel. When your endeavors are directed toward the highest good for all humankind, a special dispensation is given, and a greater measure of creator light will be made available to you. Imagine. Dear ones, how it would feel to have access to an unlimited supply of divine creator essence. Envision yourself as a great energy vortex, pulsating with power, sending out great rays of luminous color, radiating waves of energy and creating any and everything your soul self can envision. Sense how you would feel as the energies you project swirl and solidify, as structure and form become discernible, beautiful and unique beyond measure, your creations through the power of your thoughts, love emotions, and inspired imagination. We are endeavoring to help you understand why you and the Earth are so important during these chaotic times on your planet. In this galactic experience, the Earth is the place to be during this extraordinary period of evolution of the species and expansion of the sub-universe. Build your vision, my brave and faithful ones. Start within your own sacred heart center and reclaim that power and magnificence that is your divine heritage. Then, begin to radiate that power and perfection into your physical vessel and outwardly into your world, your relationships, your workplace, community, country, and world. Allow all that no longer serves you to continue on its path of limitation or to join you in the realm of higher frequencies of unlimited potential via the process of transmutation. The path toward the light and the path spiraling further into darkness, have now come to a distinct point of separation. You are being forced to face, once and for all, the residual shadows of self, all the imbalances and restrictions that are holding you back from fully empowered self-realization. Being a self-master is not for the timid or weak of heart, dear ones. Accept my sword of light, which is encoded with the divine will power of our Father God and accept a shining chalice of love light from our beloved Mother God, as we go bravely forward into the dawning of the new age. I am ever near to guide, direct, inspire and protect you. I am Archangel Michael, 